Hi and welcome to your Gold Market Update and Charts of the Day for today. It's the 30th of March 2023. I know many of you are on public holiday today. Hope you're having a great day. For those of you who aren't, hope you're having a great day too. Mike Smith here and Alistair Gold Market here to lead you around what's happening in markets today. Of course, across the news wise, we saw a week session on Friday in the US. All the major indices to the downside. We saw Silicon Valley Bank going bankrupt, which upset markets a little bit, as well as the slightly stronger than expected jobs numbers that came in with the non-farm payrolls. Consequently, uh, US futures are strong in early Asian trading after reassurance of bank support, not only for that bank in trouble, but also the banking sector as a whole. So that's calm markets. Now we're seeing all of the futures up very strongly. Asian indices, however, are weak f following that softer session in the us from friday asx is way off its lows uh, but is still down uh, somewhere between 0.5 and 0.6 percent materials are outperforming big miners and gold stocks leading the way in that particular sector european equity futures are pointing to a mildly higher open as well we saw the vix spike higher on that news uh, and then a significant retracement as well so it is still over 20 so markets just need to calm themselves down a little bit to see that drop back below that 20 level. US dollar index is weak again despite that equity selling and consequently gold moved back up to 1875. Technically looks very strong at the moment. Copper's holding very nicely above $4. Oil edged higher but is still stuck in that sort of triangular range suggesting a lot of uncertainty around oil at the moment. Bitcoin gapped up significantly. It's 10% plus higher in Asia after testing. 20,000 on Friday. A very quiet day today, today, but market eyes may be on that critical US CPI number, which is out tomorrow, in terms of sentiment for the rest of the week. Just a couple of charts that caught our eyes today. We've got a very choppy day in FX markets, but we're going to just have a quick look at the Aussie US, which is sitting on support. You can see the last four candles have looked very similar in terms of trading towards the lows of the session, but four really strong weeks to the upside, suggesting a rejection of that move but there could be a short-term opportunity here uh, perhaps with that 66.50 now some sort of resistance if we put it on the hourly chart uh, you can see that level there if we do breach it we could get some significant buying coming into this but at the moment we still look stuck in this range that we've really been in for the last three days so that's the key level to watch with this resistance becoming more and more established it could mean a breakout is significant Gold stocks are obviously in focus, and one of the ones we like is Santa Barbara Limited. You can see here it has had support in place at around about 52 cents there, but you can see this double bottom formed on today's price action. This is up significantly, around about 9%. We're we'll keeping an eye on 60 cents as a potential level that might get us interested. You can see it was support around this area here, so plenty of potential upside in this if gold continues its move higher and this could be a stock to take advantage of trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now